this question principal explains to us that article 21 of the constitution of india provides right to life to all the persons within the territory of india further the supreme court has observed in number of cases that article 21 derives its life breath from directive principles of state policy given in part 4 of the constitution of india now uh, further therefore article 21 is coextensive with the principles laid down in part 4 of the constitution of india now the facts x is a reputed ngo of a remote tribal area and it brought an action under article 21 of the constitution for rehabilitation of the bonded laborers in that area claiming that article 39 41 and 42 in the part 4 of the constitution of india provide for protection of life of workers and for just and humane work conditions now why the employer and the defendant in the case contended that it is a matter of labor law only and this issue cannot be raised under article 21 of the constitution of india this question the correct answer is b that is the contention of why shall not prevail the reason for this being is the principle clearly provides that right to life under tw article 21 derives its life breath from directive principles of state policy which are enumerated in the part 4 of the constitution of india now it means that the laborer also has a right to life and this right to life shall include just and humane conditions of work so the part in which x the reputed ngo sought rehabilitation of the workers under article 21 of the constitution claiming that article 439 41 and 42 of the constitution provide for protection of health of workers for just and human conditions of work for them is completely a valid claim making be the right option that is if y contends that this cannot be raised under article 21 then this condition of y of this contention of y shall not prevail in the court as is clearly mentioned in the principle so if we apply principle strictly to the facts we get to know that the correct answer is b b is the correct answer